Hey, this is Jack Nicholson for 25 for Sunnyside Woodside. I'm kidding, it's me, it's Ty. We're gonna talk about the Globe Tavern, which just happens to be owned by... Oh, there she is, Rena Hirschberger, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how are ya? I was there when you had your first Guinness 50 years ago, or something like that, uh, which, you know, brings us to the fact that now you are highlighting Guinness. You, you own a bar, Rena. Let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, what made you want to open up and start a bar right here in Sunnyside Woodside and a little history? Well, it's all your fault, Ty. I was dressed as a Klingon at one of Ty's Halloween parties and we went out and I had my first Guinness. Instantly, when I started working here, this was a community. It's just a, it, it's a meeting place. It's like you get good news, you go to the bar. You get bad news, you go to the bar. You know, uh, I've seen people come in here their first day in the neighborhood and by the time they leave, They've made a bunch of new friends. They've got like a lead on a new job. They might have lined up an apartment. Like this is where everything happens. This is where communities get together. And we've been trying to do everything we can for the community. We were running a food pantry, helping out uh, a lot during you know the shutdown. So yeah, I want to I want I want to hit on that too. I really want to talk about that because you know one of the folks is you know we're we're kind of trying to come together as a community to kind of keep money coming in to the bars and restaurants so why don't we head inside because it's cold and we're going to talk a little bit more about that she's done so much for this community i can't even tell you so let's go inside what made you want to get involved community wise helping out with the food pantries for me was a no-brainer um at the beginning we were shut down i had a big empty space here that i couldn't do anything with and um, I got involved with a Sunnyside Woodside Mutual Aid Group. Um, they were doing pop-up food pantries on Saturdays, and they were literally storing the food in the trunks of people's cars wow. and then driving it to the tables and giving it out every Saturday. And when I found out about this, I said, hey, I have a big empty bar with a big walk-in fridge. Um, I want to help with the food pantries. And we, within a few weeks, turned the entire bar into a giant food pantry. And uh, at one point, my beer cooler, which is normally full of kegs and cases of beer, was full of uh, 50 cases of milk and a, like a bunch of non-perishable, of uh, perishable items and butter and vegetables. And at one point, the entire bar was just laden with food and we still raise money for them with uh, raffles and whatever we can do. We had a, a Super Bowl pool going that's going to raise money for them as well. All right, so, you know, you, you feature a lot of local artists, uh, musicians, acts like that. Uh, tell me a little bit about that if you can. We used to have an open mic here um, once a month. Uh, Brian, who's videotaping this, was uh, very, pretty active in the open mics for a while. Drums and bass and, well, I think that's it. Anyway. <laughs> Ding! Um, <laughs> you know, we have a, quite a community of, of very talented people and open mic night here was a great way for them to like try new things and you know get used to playing in front of an audience in a nice comfortable environment where everyone was supportive. I always have a guitar and bass handy lately. Um, there's this piano I brought to the bar that was gathering dust in my parents' house for decades. You come to the bar, have a beer, and then a jam session breaks out, you know? And then, you know, someone grabs the bongos, someone's got a guitar. How come our friends at, at 25 Sunnyside Woodside follow you? It's very simple, just the Globe Tavern on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm Rena Hirschberger, so I'm easy to find, you know. Every week we do a, a, a weird question of the week. Here we go, here's your question. Rena, you find out that you're gonna be deserted on a desert island for 20 years. Do you take the entire box set of every Star Wars and Star Trek show, a Star Wars TV show and movie, or do you take a box set of every Star Trek movie and TV show with you to watch? Go. Well, this is easy for me because there is so much more Star Trek than there is Star Wars. Because there's so many Star Trek series and Star Trek movies. So, like, if I'm going to be there for 20 years, the Star Wars, there's not enough Star Wars where Star Trek. That's going to last me a long time. Give, give Disney time. They'll, they'll, have, they'll get there. But, uh... <laughs> Live, live, you know what? I think that's our, our out there. So for 25 for Sunnyside Woodside, this is Ty live at the Globe saying, don't forget, bye-bye. Bye local.